And about five carrots. The one about five, yeah. Skin off the ca uh, carrots, okay? Mm -hmm. And then celery, one bunch. Skin off also. You can skin celery? Huh? Yeah, you skin the, the threads, the threads. Skin off nice. Do you want to walk down the sweater? Do you want to walk down the sweater? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. She's getting the... Okay. Uh, I'm taking it. I'm sure okay. I'm going to cook it, but uh, she gets the rest of it. Celery, cut in half. Okay, the long way. Yeah, cut in half. You got this down. Yeah. Then uh, slice ten. Like this. This is celery. This is celery, so you know how to slice it, okay? Okay, yeah. so slice it to tiny skin. First skin. cut this, then cut about an inch and a half, then skin off, so, uh, cut it, okay? And the carrots are the same way. Cut in a half, then cut this up. You guys, this yeah. And then you could use, this is optionally, uh, you could use uh, uh, bean sprout, but that's really wet thing, so I skip with that. Okay. And, and you skip this, what? The bean sprouts. Okay. Okay. Then, next is uh, two bunch of green onion, chopped so small. If you want to take okay. half of Very the... small. Then uh, we have... Uh, this is a very important uh, secret one. Oh, I love that. Garlic and uh, soy sauce. We put in a uh, uh, peel the garlic and the soy sauce to keep in the refrigerator for many, many years. You could do it, but soon they get this color, you could use it and slice it and chop that inside here. Okay? And this garlic is you could use for every anything. That's a fried rice or a salad or uh, so this is good for you. Good for you. This is a healthy thing. Okay. Kay made me a big jar, like a gallon jar. Well, right. I remember. So, sat in the fridge. So this, you chuck it. If awesome. you don't have it right away, you could just use the regular garlic too, okay? Okay. And then the soy sauce. Extra beyond what you soaked in the garlic, or? Okay, never mind. Yeah. So now you get to practice. Okay. we save some. Okay, this is the soy sauce. Then, uh, pound pork, ground pork. And the some to, uh, some to ch Chinese way to do is they use chopped up uh, fresh ginger. Okay. But I don't use the ginger because some people don't like the ginger. Okay. This is uh, a typical Japanese way to do it. So, okay. All right, then uh, first you saute the pork. Okay. I think I need a paper towel, but I'm... She already sauteed for me. So. Black olive. This is a pork, ground pork, with a... Uh, you shred the garlic or just smash it right here? I press, put it through my garlic press. Yeah, then... Uh, five garlic with about two pound ground pork. Five pounds per one pound. Five pounds per one pound. Okay. Then saute. First, you saute the garlic and the uh, pork. Then drain out very good to take all the excess uh, oil from the pork. So keep the oil? Hmm? No, no, no. No, no. Okay. okay. Right, drain, yeah. Then keep it cool here. Then we have to saute it this time. Okay. Okay. And we've got some going things. He's done. We got two. So uh, just a little bit. I will say about two tablespoons the oil. Then Important thing is uh, wash your hands very good before you touch the other food, okay? That's very important. Then, hand is hot now, and then we put this. Okay, so we have carrots and the cabbage and uh, um, egg roll. Um, Celery? Celery, yes. Going in here.
Yeah, you could have your own. Okay. Very careful. Don't hurt yourself. Okay, that's it. Yes, yes, yes. Only thing is that don't overcook the vegetables. Okay. Yeah, just not to be... Okay. Yeah. Then, put the bottom together. One teaspoon of water. A teaspoon of water? Water. Just a little... Can I go here? Then... Then uh, soy sauce a little bit, just a little touch, okay? Then mix good, then another bunch. Okay. Do it. Okay. You could do so much in at one time, but that's a bit, this is a better way to show you. Okay. It's the same way you could do fried rice. Exactly. Instead of the vegetable, you put the steamed rice already, put in the oil, then then the stir, stir, then put some meat in it, then soy sauce, then this. Lots of things to mix. So that's it. Okay. Okay. So um, green onion and garlic soy sauce is very important for that to your taste. Okay. Yeah. Wei Chen. Wei Chen. Okay. The company name. This is the cheese lumpia. This is the uh, uh, Filipino dishes. For the cocktail party or something, make sure that cheddar cheese you cut in the finger size to put in the freezer. So because then when you saute, the cheese get melt so fast. So that's what they do. This is a different skin too. But okay. Okay. These are just regular yeah. wonton wrappers. Okay. All right. And what's this? Just egg. Egg. This needs to very much cool because you have to use by the hand. Okay. Okay. So you too hot you have to touch it yet. So when they cool off. And uh, uh, very much to squeeze that so then not too juicy to break out the skin. Okay? Water bucket. And a bit of water to each time you use it to wash the hands. Okay? Uh, but when you make this a lot, it, it's a smart way to do. One day, take time to chop up the vegetable and, and saute, then roll it up, then fry. Okay, I'll show you how to fry. Then, after cool off, put on the sheet and put it in the freezer. They will last a very long time. Then, when you have unexpected friend, or just over the sun, show up or something, stove oven will be 400 degrees. Okay? Then, put in the cookie sheet, very fat, seven minutes. Turn over, another seven minutes, done. So all grease out, then a serve. It's very easy. So some people will make those for two or three hundred at one time to put in a freezer. Wow. Yeah. It's very easy to do. Sometimes the people just come in for eight o'clock at night and it's too late to start a cook, so just a stick them in the oven. Take it out the room, but oven you don't have to touch the anything. A freeze thing, just a small bit. See of this, not with the water. See it with the egg will stick together, so uh, they won't open up. But when you put in the oven, I mean uh, oil, and uh, if you not seal good, then they're gonna be open up. So, okay.
You're sealing with a beat egg. About this much. Okay. Then, then squeeze. So the excess of water or oil or whatever vegetables then come out. And put it in here center. Then maybe one teaspoon. Sprinkle. Don't put the onion to cook with it because the onion get all cooked so quick, so rolls okay. Then throw it up here, you push down here, okay? Push it down, tighten as you can. Then throw it up, and then beat the egg, and the edge. That's it. All the time. Okay. And center. Then each time you want to wash your hands, like here's the water again. Okay? Oh, here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you think that's a sticky, yeah. so you use that. Then one teaspoon. Oh, that's fresh. <laughs> no, I'm spraying you in water. Okay. Center. Water back. Okay. This guy is Okay, put it up. There's a better place to ask questions about your tires. Just with your finger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finger. And the seal. Just don't be scared. Just hold it up. Okay? There you go. Woohoo! Put in the hot oil, okay? When you put this uh, in here, so in the, if you start to get the bubbling in the chopstick, and that's ready to fry. So when you put in the hot oil, you want to keep the fry. Okay. That's ready? Just about. Okay. Okay. Uh, in roll first, people. Okay. You could use a spatula. Oh, Oops, sorry. Yeah, you could use a spatula. Oh, yeah. And then Easton something to chew on for Easton. Yesterday I put. They're already cooked, so you don't have to worry about the cooking. Okay, as soon as this color come out so nice and brown, then that's done. Mix the mustard powder with very hot water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wasabi, if ever you use that green powder thing, that's a cold, cold water to mix. So this one is a hot water to mix it to make it more hot. Hot water to make the paste out. Okay. Uh, crumb sauce with a little bit of soy sauce, okay? Just a touch of that. Just a touch of that. You come in the summer, right? Okay, so we mixed plum sauce and soy sauce and the mustard paste. Those are, what are they called? The peeling and the making and the saucing. So we're going to mix our own sauce because the kids won't be able to necessarily eat this because it's too hot. So this is the plum soy sauce mixture and this is the mustard paste that can be mixed together. Hey, hey, this, say, and this is how you get a perfect egg roll. No!